It's a beautiful day, and it's a big day for the Phillies and their fans. Today is the annual Phillies Festival. It's a big event, autograph event, auctions, all kinds of stuff going on to help raise money for ALS to fight Lou Gehrig's disease. And it's always a great time, and that's what this, uh, that's what this vlog is going to focus on. I'll try and get as much as I can, but it's tough because this event, it's amazing, but it's like 10 hours worth of stuff crammed into like two, three hours. They have live auctions, they have silent auctions, they have games, um, you can meet and greet with players and get stuff signed, so it's awesome, but they cram it all into just a few hours. Also, tonight is the Major League Baseball Draft, and the Philadelphia Phillies have picked number one for the first time since the late 90s, 1998. So it's kind of up in the air who they'll draft. So big Phillies day, guys. Well, I'm finally down at the Phillies ALS Festival. Got here a little later than anticipated, about an hour later. In line for Bo and Borges. Not bad this year. territory of more lackluster names and a team that hasn't performed as expected over the last few years. Just reached the second level here at Citizens Bank Park. I want to use up my last ticket. Uh, the last ticket is for uh, Jean Bar Gomez. Look at that gust of wind. Holy oh, Lord. You can probably hear it. Uh, Gomez and Colton Murray. So I have some custom to get done to that. Your, uh, your new Tops card doesn't come out till like next week. So really? bad time you by week. For me now? It's supposed to be in the new series. They just announced the checklist. Thank you so much. Keep up the uh, great season. In the Hall of Fame club now, just went by Cody Ashley, says I'm in this group. Crazy busy, right now, as you guys expected. The signing portion of the ALS event is almost over. Uh, time just flies. It goes so quick, and it is so hard to uh, get around and get everything done you want to get done. Though, Andrew Bailey and Elvis Araujo, who I got before, pretty light. No line there. Thank you so much. Good luck. Thank you. Hey guys. Hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. Did I get out of blue? Yeah. Appreciate it so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Just like that, signing is complete. Now have 15 minutes in the first silent auction, 30 minutes in the second silent auction, and then that's just about it.
up for the 2016 Phillies ALS Festival. Today, I had the opportunity to meet and get some autographs from some of the Phillies of today, but there's some news now that I've uh, got home. Actually, it happened while I was on my ride home of the Phillies' future. The Phillies had the number one overall pick in the 2016 MLB draft, and they drafted Mickey Moniak from uh, a high school outfielder from California. So hopefully this guy uh, develops. Obviously, baseball can take a while, especially I think this kid's like 18 years old, so it's going to be a few years before he can find his way to the majors. But it would be really nice as a Phillies fan to see a position player that would evolve and develop at a quick pace and be here sooner rather than later. Phillies historically are known for, you know, developing guys a little slower and you know sometimes it works out 2008 worked out great but unfortunately Chase Utley, Ryan Howard all these guys kind of came up a few years later than maybe they could have so uh, we'll see how it evolves anyway guys hopefully you enjoy this episode and I'll talk to you next time have a great one